Because love is the great commandment, it ought to be at the center of all and everything we do in our own family, in our church callings, and in our livelihood. He invites each of us to be a Good Samaritan, less judgmental and more forgiving of ourselves and of each other, even as we strive more fully to keep His commandments. Love for others is the eloquent expression of the second great commandment to love our neighbor. It shows the refining process of the Holy Spirit working within our souls. Our Savior Jesus Christ knows everything about us we don't want anyone else to know, and He still loves us. His is a gospel of second and third chances made possible by His atoning sacrifice. I testify that when Jesus Christ through the power of His Atonement, works on us and in us, He begins to work through us to bless others. By demonstrating Christ's love to others, we may cause those who see our good works to glorify our Father which is in heaven. We do this expecting nothing in return. Of course, we hope that they will accept our love and our message, though how they react is not within our control. What we do and who we are certainly is. Our love and devotion to Him preempts the need for recognition or appreciation and allows His love to flow to and through us. How clearly the Savior spoke when He said that every other commandment hangs upon the principle of love. If we do not neglect the great loss, if we truly learn to love our Heavenly Father and our fellow man with all our heart, soul, and mind, all else will fall into place.